Channing said, you need to go out there and wrestle yourself. Uh, and I think that's, uh, at, at the most basic level, that's what he was doing. He was going out there and finding out who the hell he was. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I did not wish to live what was not life. Living is so dear. Nor did I wish to practice resignation unless it was quite necessary. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life, to live so sturdily and Spartan-like as to put to rout all that was not life, to cut a broad swath and shave close, to drive life into a corner and reduce it to its lowest terms. And if it proved to be mean, why then to get the whole and genuine meanness of it and publish its meanness to the world, or if it were sublime, to know it by experience and be able to give a true account of it in my next excursion. I do not propose to write an ode to dejection, but to brag as lustily as a chanticleer in the morning, standing on his roost if only to wake my neighbors up. When I wrote the following pages, or rather the bulk of them, I lived alone in the woods, a mile from any neighbor, in a house which I had built myself on the shore of Walden Pond in Concord, Massachusetts, and earned my living by the labor of my hands. I lived there two years and two months. One message in Walden may be that a life of happiness could be found in simplicity, deliberation, and kinship with nature. Simplicity. If people could just simplify their lives to what they really needed, thorough reasoned, they wouldn't have to labor so hard to maintain what they had. Simplicity was like a key to liberation. Most men, even in this comparatively free country, have no time to be anything but a machine. Still, we live meanly like ants. Our life is frittered away by detail. Simplicity, 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 I say. Let your affairs be as two or three and not a hundred or a thousand. Instead of a million, count half a dozen, and keep your accounts on your thumbnail. Why should we live with such hurry and waste of life? We are determined to be starved before we are hungry. When we are unhurried and wise, we perceive that only great and worthy things have any permanent and absolute existence, that petty fears and petty pleasures are but the shadow of the reality. Let us spend one day as deliberately as nature and not be thrown off the track by every nutshell and mosquito's wind that falls on the rails. <laughs>